we'll start with the opening statement from Coach and then open up for questions. Yeah, obviously solid win for us. Um, really quality opponent um, in Texas A&M. One of the best defensive teams in the country, kind of perennially. Um, perennially, um, as long as Joni Taylor's been around anyway, they've been great defensively. And, um, you know, they had a size advantage, I thought. Um, really, they were at least taller at every position. So that was something we really focused on was, you know, our rebounding. Was their length going to bother us? Um, we thought they would play some man defense. That's kind of their bread and butter. Um, we hadn't seen that ball screen defense that they played. So it took us a little while to kind of figure that out. Uh, made some adjustments in the second half. And I really liked the way we came out in the third quarter. And really a lot we talked about. Kind of going off the theme of the, the big fight tonight with Tyson and what's his name? Who's he type fighting? What's that? Jake Paul. Yeah, there we go. Golly, brain fart. So anyway, it was really just like keep throwing jabs and then eventually hopefully we can kind of knock them out. But kind of jab, jab, maybe eventually we do knock them out. And, um, you know, I thought we shared the ball better in that third quarter. We moved it. I thought defensively we were really good. Um, to out-rebound them by 10 is really good for us, um, really any night. But to do that was something we talked about. And, and to win a game where we don't just do it all based off turnovers, which everybody seems to think that's all that we can do. But we really in the half court were pretty good until the fourth quarter, which we were not very good. But up until then, I thought we defended unbelievably well and got the offense rolling. And J.J. kind of got out of that funk, so that was great to see. Um, really, really happy for Kylie Blackston to have that night. I know she was frustrated after the last game and didn't get to play, I'm sure, as much as she wanted to. But, yeah, she um, came and I think had a career high and made three, so really happy for her. And Jordan Harrison just kind of controls the game with the eight assists. Kyle Watson does what Kyle Watson does and finishes with seven steals. So, yeah, it was kind of typical of us. Um, we're still working through rotations, and we're going to have to keep working through that and figuring it out. But um, keep winning to figure it out is a much better feeling and solid week, solid win, and we'll take it and move on. Power four opponents. How would you rate your team through those two games? What did you learn about them? Yeah, it was, it was a good week. Um, I mean, two completely different experiences with the two types of teams that we played. Um, so this one was just going to be athletic, big, physical, guard us, push us, you know, that type of stuff. And we needed to go against that. And, and Pitt kind of started the game that way um, and kind of punched us first a little bit. So I thought we responded the way we wanted to, um, both both nights, I thought the crowds were great. It was, it was there was energy in the building. I think we want to continue to build on that and grow, grow that fan base. So just yeah, I thought everybody got moments. Kylie had moments tonight. Tears and CC have had moments. I mean, the other kids we've seen, so we kind of know. Happy to see JJ settle in. So yeah, I think it was a just a big step in the right direction. But um, long way to go. A lot to work on. You mentioned having the bounce back. That was your smallest halftime lead this season so far, only four points. But then you came out, you forced the first time out. Like you mentioned, one of your guys' goals uh, only left five points or seven total. I think it was a couple through the first five minutes. What did you say at halftime to really get them get them going? We didn't. I mean, it wasn't any major like raw raw speech or anything like that. It was more of the X and O piece. I, I mean, we were playing hard. Um, you know, I think at half though, right? They hadn't even they made one three maybe off the dribble. They had no assists. I want to say through three quarters, um, they were just driving us kind of head down. And I thought we just didn't weren't containing the basketball um, at the level that we wanted to. And like I said, offensively, we were it was just sticking and way too much dribble and not enough pass. So we we tweaked a few things, changed some screening angles. Um, and yeah, to the kids' credit, they they did the did the right did the right thing and made the right reads. You guys went twelve for twenty from three tonight and had A and M praying to God that you missed one. Is that was that kind of the the focus point going into this game? Oh, not necessarily. I mean, we're just trying to take what the defense gives us. Um, I do think we have a pretty good shooting basketball team. Um, maybe a little inconsistent at time. Didn't shoot it, obviously, very well at all against Pitt. Um, but I've said that, I, I, you know, we'll, we'll be able to make threes in games. You know, if we can get to eight or nine threes a game, I think we'll have a great opportunity. It means we're running some pretty good offense. You had 12 threes, but you also had 32 points in the paint. I mean, was there anything that surprised you about the offense tonight or – the performance or anything specifically? Uh, I don't know if it surprised me. I mean, our, I mean, the offense is still a work in progress. I think, you know, it takes time to get this, and we're trying to run some motion with some ball screen mixed in. So it's, like I said, we're it's going to take us a little time to gel and figure this out. I liked the second half offense. I didn't love the first half offense a ton, but I thought we did enough things and made enough shots in the first half to at least give us that lead when we weren't kind of all dialed in. So, yeah, we were only up four at half, but we kind of felt like, okay, no, we'll be okay if we can just tweak – a few things offensively, and then it showed in that third quarter. You won the rebounding battle by 10. What does it mean to have that kind of performance against a team who, like you said, has a lot of height all around? 
Yeah, no, it's that's tremendous for us. Anytime we can, you know, if we can win that battle, because we're going to usually win the turnover battle, and if we can either hang tough or win that, um, a lot of times it's offensive rebounding that's really more important than just overall rebounds. Um, but we were plus eight on those possessions and then plus three in the turnover. So there's 11 extra possessions that we got. So I think we'll be hard to beat if we can do that most nights. I had a guy sitting behind me in the stands who said if, this, if Kylie Blackson hits five threes, you all won't lose this season. Is that fair to say? Probably, yeah. So that, that's a lot to ask uh, of anybody to make five threes every night. But, yeah, I just think it would mean we're sharing it. And, you know, and she's being active, which she has the ability to stretch the floor and, um, you know, shoot it. And, you know, we do like green light shooting, you know, where we see who has the green light on our team. And I think we have five or six kids in it, but Kylie is in that. So she has – I mean, we are giving her the green light to shoot those when – when she's open. So, yeah, super proud of her. That was that was big for us. Just how valuable is Kaya Watson? I mean, you look at the five points, you don't think much of it, but eight rebounds. She leads the team in rebounds this year, and then seven steals tonight. Just what does she provide to the team? Everything. That's why there's the, the most important one is the 36 minutes and nine seconds because Coach Kellogg can't take her take her out uh, because she does so many good things um, you know and, and she's been more aggressive in practice I still want to keep seeing her be a little more aggressive offensively um, that's kind of would be the final step for Kaya because she's phenomenal rebounder her anticipation defensively is just fantastic um, you know great kid plays hard and that's just what makes it so hard for me to ever ever take her out and she's worked herself into being a you know well very well conditioned athlete you talked about fouls after the pit game and tonight they kind of Kind of got you guys in a little trouble early. You said Kylie missed a lot of time because she was fouled early. But what is it early on in the season? What do you kind of want to get into their heads about fouling? What What do they do to kind of cut those back going? Yeah, well, you're right. It's a little bit of a problem. It's a little been a been a theme here a little bit, and part of it is the way we play, and so we understand that. You know, we may not be in the single digits with fouls, but when you're getting into the upper teens and twenties with fouls, that's just too many. And really, what it does, it just slows the game down. You know, and we want to play at pace with space, and we're not the biggest team, and so we want flow and tempo. And when you're fouling, obviously, clock stops, take it out. You know, kind of reset offense or defense and so that's what it is I think we'll just keep adjusting and they're going to learn how the game gets called here early in the season and the officials are told to call stuff pretty tight early. Sydney Woodley didn't tally any stats tonight but it seemed like she was making life really hard for them on defense and she seems comfortable enough running the offense what would you define her role as on this team or what would you describe her yeah, as? No, she needs to have a problem I need to even get her more minutes she played 10 tonight she needs to play a little bit more but she's one she's a elite defender and she's a nuisance when she's on the ball um, we keep deflections every day in practice and I would bet 80 percent of the time she wins deflections through practice because of that activity um, you know and so she's a smart kid she's played big moments I mean you probably know this but I think she had like 104 steals at Long Beach last year which was more than you know the kids that we have who had a ton of steals obviously a different level but still pretty impressive so she's going to be a big big piece of this and again like she's one of the ones that I've got to work into this probably a little bit a little bit more. You mentioned JJ kind of looked like herself against tonight. Does that instill some confidence in the rest of your team when she's playing the way she can? Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, you're going to feed off of that kid. And, you know, when she's shooting like that and finds her rhythm, then I think we're pretty good too. So I know you talked about Kylie making five, but if JJ gets us 27-2 on most nights, I think we'll be okay. Um, and, and she won't do that every night. But, you know, she stayed the course and she has been frustrated. And, you know, and I, we we said it with coaches and I were talking about it at Shoot Around that – She's, it's coming. I don't, I don't know if it was tonight or not, but it was coming and somebody was going to get the J.J. show and, and she got in that, in that zone tonight. The first half, you mentioned some struggles there, but specifically maybe a slower start forcing turnovers. Was that something that they did? Were they good against the press or were you guys not aggressive enough? Yeah, well, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look at it a little bit because I thought we were okay um, you know, in it. I don't know. We just weren't getting deflections. I don't know if it was their length. Um, they used their five player a lot to flash into the into the middle. Uh, we hadn't seen that a ton this year, so we kind of tried to make a little adjustment um, there. Uh, but it also isn't always about turnovers with the press. And so I know everybody thinks we're just trying to get turnovers. But if we're – like in the third quarter, I thought they were getting slow into their offense and it was taking a lot of time. And, you know, we can use that press just to take time off the clock. Um, and we should have done that more in the fourth quarter with the big lead, and we didn't do that probably well enough. So it, it's a versatile enough press. We can change. Them where it's not just about turnovers, but um, yeah, we we weren't as good as we could be. What can you say about the chemistry of this team so far? It looks fantastic when the bench is just so excited for everyone, no matter the minutes and no matter the situation. Yeah, no, great group, really, really good group. I mean, I feel bad because I can't get them all. 
I got 14 of them and I can't play all 14 and I wish I could because they're great kids and they come to work and you know I think some of them were a little disappointed tonight but you know they just got to stay the course and you know they're going to have moments and they're going to get opportunities um, but really good group close-knit team we don't worry about stuff off the court I've said that for ever since I've been here just you know they do the right stuff and they're they, you know, they're just fun to be around. How do you go about attacking a team that you know has a lot of length? You know, it makes it hard on the inside, but it looked like they were playing really good defense around the perimeter, specifically in the first half. So, what do you try to do to get by a lot of that maybe height disadvantage that can affect you on both ends of scoring? Well, you just you're really trying to manipulate the help. That's where a lot of the you know the, the rotation comes from. Obviously, they're big, so they're dropping drop coverage, so they're going to try to contest everything at the rim. But that's where like Kylie comes into play. That if you're going to try to do that with her, then she can space the floor. So this was a great match up for her that's what that was the plan was we were going to space it with her when Jordan Thomas and the CCs and tears has come in we can go get some paint points that way because we're a little bit bigger so that's the versatility of this team is I think we're gonna be able to play multiple ways um you know but that's the hard part too is like Kylie the other night just didn't get a, as much of an opportunity because the game didn't call for it and I know that's frustrating for her but then tonight like some of the other ones don't get the opportunity because the game kind of called for Kylie um to do what she did just to stretch him a little bit more thanks guys